Hi, I'm Chris Tavana for Tundra Restaurant Supply. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot some common setbacks and easy maintenance repairs for your Renai commercial gas rice cooker. So the last common setback that you can experience with the Renai commercial gas rice cooker is actually how the rice itself is cooked. Whether it comes out overcooked or undercooked, it really comes down to your thermal sensor itself. Again, that's this piece in the center with the spring. And the reason why this is so important is because this is run by an induction magnet that actually cooks your rice from the bottom of this pan. So always be sure first and foremost that this surface is spick and span clean as well as the top of your thermal sensor itself. From there, if you see any type of wear and tear from the daily grind and it is clean but you see the impression of the magnet inside, that means your thermal sensor needs replacing anyway. So first, you're going to turn the whole machine upside down. And this screw right here, this set screw, just take that right out. So first thing first, is you're going to want to release the lowest washer on the plunger arm of the thermal sensor from the operating arm of the base. So what I did is I pushed down on the spring of the plunger on the thermal sensor itself to get this pin out of that hole. From there, this plunger should just be able to detach right from the operating arm and it'll sink right into the thermal sensor itself because it is a magnet. So next we need to remove this tricky little securing spring for your thermal hot sensor. Pretty much you see the hoop in the back, you're going to push away from the center and it should just pop right out of that hole. From there you're going to give it a little 90 degree twist so that way the base of it can come out the bottom. So take note of the positioning of the feet on your thermal sensor and where they are in relation to the housing base itself. For instance, this one foot on the thermal sensor has an angle cut into its base of its foot. Take note of that because when replacing this later, you're going to want to line that one special foot up in the same direction that you just took that securing pin from. And it just slides right out from there. So this is the thermal sensor. And this is pretty much what drives the cooking of the rice. The cooking of the rice has nothing to do with the amount of weight or the amount of water you have. Strictly, it has to do with heat. Um, thermal means heat, so this is essentially a heat sensor. So that's how it's going to regulate the temperature of the cooking of your rice. So this is your thermal sensor spring. Keep in mind, this is actually tapered, so it means one circumference is a little bit smaller than the other circumference, meaning it's only going to fit on your thermal sensor one way. So keep in mind, if you put this on and this ring can get above it, you got it on backwards. You have the big end at the top. What we do want is the small end at the top. Now it fits flush. Can't quite get it over that top lip. So take note of the shape of the base of this one foot compared to the other two. This angled foot is going to be positioned in the back corner where we release that securing spring. So actually replacing this Securing spring is much easier than it looks, much easier than it was coming out. Big thing to take note of is this little L shape in the end needs to go through this hole and down and into this slit that is positioned next to that angled foot base that we were speaking of earlier. Then once that's in place there, we can focus on pushing that little hoop all the way to that back little slot that we took it out of earlier. So once you got that spring hooked back up to the base in both spots, you can get the plunger from the thermal sensor again. Remember we have this one slight pin that needs to go in that hole. However, you do not just want to put it in there like this. That is not secure. What you're going to want to do is push that first washer down with that pin down on the spring and get that to sit right in here. 
So now do you see how the, the arm as well as the plunger are securely together in between those two washers? Now it's just a matter of rotating that pin right into the hole. It's just a matter of ease to get this piece back screwed into place. And there you have your thermal sensor replaced. So I'm Chris Tavano for Tundra Restaurant Supply, and that's how you diagnose and perform some common repairs to your Renai gas commercial rice cooker. Here's to a better mise en place.